All right, today we're gonna try to attempt to change the valve body in a 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. We got the valve body from a donor car. Um, that was $58. We got a new um, oil pan from O'Reilly's. This was actually the most expensive for $146. Um, we got new uh, filter kit for $25. And we got our ATF fluid uh, for Eighteen. I'm not gonna do a full um, flush. I just checked the the fluid. It's still still pink. So um, it was changed about a year ago. And then we went ahead and got a multi-use transfer pump to refill. We're done. We got that at O'Reilly's as well for sixteen dollars. All right, we got the car jacked up. <clears throat> Um, this is what we're looking at. Um, what you'll need to get started, I think this might be all we need, is a 5mm hex and 10mm um, socket. And we'll go ahead and get these um, bolts off all the way around. Um, here's your drain plug here. We'll go ahead and get that done and come back. Alright, so it finally stopped. That's how much came out. All right, we got eight 10 millimeter bolts we have to remove. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So once you get the pan off, that's the old one. There's this little tower inside that you gotta you gotta take off your your bolt and then unscrew that and then screw that up into here and then pull your bolt back on the bottom. Uh, I wouldn't grab another filter because the one I had. The one I have under the filter has a wide opening, and the one I had got at the store had a short opening, and it was like a $3 difference in price. I don't, they said it was both compatible, but I didn't want to risk it, so I want to swap those out. Alright, next we're going to get off this old filter. Now we got the filter off, we gotta start unhooking all these wires, so now would be a good time to take some pictures.
Alright, so before we start taking bolts out, there's a few that are different sizes. So I just want to make sure I got them all back in the right place. <clears throat> so I took the replacement uh, valve body and just traced it. And I drew, whoop, drew little circles where bolts go. And we'll, as we take them off, we'll place them in the correct areas. Alright, so before we start taking all the bolts out along the edge, um, we're going to move these uh, clips the rest of the way, and this, um, this lever right here. So, let's go ahead and do that. body um, as we do that we're gonna lose more fluid um, so let's get messy in the right places so we can put it back together this one's trying to escape anyways well alright so we're going to grab our our replacement one and swap over a few um, bolts and brackets and we'll get the new one on. Alright, got everything lined up to go back in. All our bolts ready. Guess let's do this. After a little break, um, so got all the wiring harness connected back up. Um, check the picture, it wasn't really needed because there's only one way they can go, really. Everything, all the wires only reach certain ones, so um, not too hard. Uh, we put this this bracket back on, um, put the bolt back on, or the nut back on, and um, make sure that you put these back so the bolt or the nut cam back out but all that's done so next step is to put the filter back on all right now we got the filter on um, we got the gasket in place um, make sure you swap over your, your magnets if you are replacing your pan and yeah let's get it on all right for some reason my camera didn't record but um we got all um we got the pan on 
Got them both stained down. And now it's time to add oil. Alright, this is what we drained out today. Um, I don't know if you can see right here. Okay. We are at six quarts. So we're going to replace six quarts. Alright, so. We're back. We got six quarts of old um, transmission fluid. We got two gallons of new transmission fluid. And we are going to use this pump to put the new fluid in. And we're going to go through, let's see, this wiring harness. So, we take this out and put the new fluid in here um, until it's full. Alright, we got it all together. Um, let it warm up and go through all the gears. Alright, so let it rev down. Um, we're in park. Got the emergency brake on. Got my foot on the brake. Go to reverse. And we'll go to neutral. We'll go to drive. I can feel it shifting through. Standard first, go to second, and go back to first, back to auto, neutral, reverse. All right, well, I feel it shipped in. We'll see, um, get everything cleaned up and take it for a drive. You're gonna remove this fuse and this fuse.
Someone else said um, you could remove your battery terminals and touch them together. I don't know. Why not do both? Once we got everything put back together, I took it on a test drive, and the first time around, um, ran fine. Uh, felt a little bit of a, a weird shift. Um, took it around again, it got worse, and so I brought it back. I leveled out the car. I checked the fluids; it was actually high. Um, so I I drained it. I I let it drain through any excess fallout um, and I took it on a drive it felt better but the more I drove it it, w it was getting worse so came back I uh, reset the computer um, reset the transmission um, manually by removing the battery terminals and pulling the fuses um, once I did that uh, <clears throat> took it on another drive the fluids were correct transmission um, got better with every lap um, we took so I did about four and um, it's pretty smooth now a uh, little I could feel it a little bit um, but from what I read it could take about you know 20 20 laps I don't have time for all that so tomorrow we'll drive it around and uh, see if it goes away all the way but it's it's pretty close it's pretty much there so um, I think this was a success all right guys it's day two just want to give you an update on how the car was doing um, the next morning, yesterday morning, um, my girlfriend took the car out and she called me like five times telling me how bad it was shifting. Um, I had her keep driving it. Um, she got scared and brought it back. So I took it out and no issues. <laughs> Not a single issue. Um, start, I mean, it's been shifting perfectly. I drove it for about an hour after she brought it back <clears throat> and um, I didn't have a single bad shift um, and then she drove it all day today um, doing deliveries and she was like you're amazing you fixed it so um, it is true what they say that um, it will get worse before it gets better it, it has to learn um, it has to program um, so it will shift worse before it gets better but um so don't don't get worried don't get discouraged it's not an instant fix um it will take some driving for the car to learn and um now now it's perfect no issues everything's fixed um yeah so this if you like this video it, it is useful um hit that like button and subscribe for uh, future videos. Thanks.